month is LGBTQ plus Pride Month and to celebrate we're doing a series of videos celebrating extraordinary people of colour from the community. We've already done videos on the LGBT and Q communities and today's video is on I for intersex. If you're not sure what intersex means I can briefly explain it for you now. Intersex refers to a variety of situations in which a person's reproductive or sexual anatomy does not strictly fit the binary of male or female. There are infinite ways that this can manifest itself, including having genitals or internal sexual organs that fall outside the male-female categories. Some intersex people have combinations of hormones outside of XX or XY combinations, such as XXY. Sadly, being intersex has historically been regarded as a medical problem rather than a natural and healthy state of being, and doctors will usually intervene via medical procedures, usually surgery or hormone therapy, so that babies fit the gender binary of male or female. Over the years, intersex activists have fought to change the perception that medical intervention on children is necessary, and to allow children to choose their own gender identity. Let's take a look at some intersex people of colour who have achieved incredible things. Gopi Shankar Madurai is an Indian equal rights activist who in 2016 became the first openly intersex and genderqueer candidate to run in the Legislative Assembly election for the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. The following year, he was elected to the board of the International Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Trans and Intersex Association of Asia. And his activism was instrumental in the government of Tamil Nadu banning sex reassignment surgeries on intersex children. Julius Kagwa is the award-winning Ugandan intersex and transgender activist who campaigns to dispel the stigmas surrounding the intersex community. He works to prevent the mutilation of intersex infants. He's the executive director of the organisation Support Initiative for People with Atypical Sex Development. Carlette Brown Angeli was a US Navy veteran and potentially the first African American to undergo gender affirmation surgery. She was born as Charles Brown in 1927 and in 1950 joined the US Navy where she was diagnosed with the serious mental illness of wanting to be female. Medical examinations revealed she had female glands and was in fact intersex. She declined medical advice to have the glands removed and instead made it her goal to travel to Europe and have gender reassignment surgery. She took action by legally changing her name to Carlette and she wrote to various surgeons and politicians in Europe, meanwhile saving up for her trip by working as a dancer. Her story was full of twists and turns and it's unknown if she ever made it to Europe to have surgery, but Carlette was certainly a pioneer who refused to be anything other than herself. Small Luck is the first intersex person in Hong Kong to openly acknowledge her biological sex characteristics. She lived as a male for 36 years, undergoing numerous surgeries as a child which left her suicidal. She now lives as a woman and in 2011 founded the organisation Beyond Borders which raises awareness about intersex people and campaigns to ban forced gender reassignment surgery on intersex children. Pigeon Pagonis is an American activist and writer who campaigns against non-consensual intersex medical interventions. Pagonis identifies as queer and non-binary and uses the pronouns they, them. They were raised as a girl before accessing their own medical records in university and discovering that they were in fact intersex. This propelled them to work as an advocate for the rights of intersex people and to campaign against non-consensual surgeries. In 2014, they created the documentary, The Sun They Never Had, and the following year created the hashtag Intersex Stories, which amassed a huge following on social media. Sean Safia Wall is an American speaker, researcher and activist who advocates for intersex rights. He was the president of the non-profit organisation Interact Advocates for Intersex Youth for three years and has subsequently been featured on BuzzFeed, HuffPost Live and Nightline. His work has centred on the intersection between intersex and black identities. 
That's it for today's video. Join us in the next video where we celebrate asexual people of colour. I'll see you then. Freedom.